C'est plutôt relax finalement vu la clientèle, très chill out, pas si cher pour le quartier et surtout très bon. So, I mean you guys are like totally set up in the night in like the New York scene. Yeah. How come you wanted to open um, a place that it's actually like day and night but not very similar to what you did before? I think we wanted something that was a little bit more calmer, calmer <laughs> much more chill. And I think this, uh, this kind of offered that, not just for ourselves, but for our friends. You know? so. it's, it's a lot of, um, it's like a, a community, you know, when you come here. Uh, did you decide to really open, as you say, for your friend, or it just happened like that? I, we, you know, we, Carlos and I used to throw uh, big parties. And so when we wanted to have a place that we can spend time at in, in the daytime with our, our friends, this was, uh, this was the, the destination we chose. So you wanted to crash in the morning with a coffee and a, it's like a, a, <laughs> a lemonade with basilic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a place to recover. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, how come you became a chef, you know, doing Harvard <laughs> in art and design? Um, what happened to you? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know, I just, I wanted to do something that was with my hands and like more, more tactile, more like, you know, not like sitting in an office or working in a magazine. I wanted to do something that was very immediate and like, Satisfying. About the food, everything is very like Mediterranean, Greek oriented. Yes. Why this inspiration specifically? Well, I, my parents have a house in Greece that they've, they've been going there since the 70s. So I grew up going there in the summers and I always had the food there. So And my mom always cooks that kind of food, like very light, a lot of olive oil, like Moroccan. When you come here, I'm not surprised that the fashion world is coming here because there is a lot of uh, offices in fashion. But yeah. the, Women, they, they want something that not gonna stay after lunch for yes. us, you yes. know. Well, it can be healthy, but still be good, satisfying, and flavorful. Yeah, you know, not just like a lettuce leaf. Exactly. It doesn't have any on it. That's why I, I'm gonna try the chicken sandwich. <laughs> something very heavy, actually. <laughs> it's one of the heavy. No, but you said it's the the one I have to it's try. It's very popular. It's a preserved lemon mayo, so it's still kind of Moroccan, Mediterranean, mixed in with like a just very classic roast chicken sandwich. You know what is very good? It's the um, papers. Oh yeah. Roast the roasted papers. papers that you added and it make like a little um, vibrant touch, not just with the colors, but with the um, taste. Okay. A little bit of femininity okay. in the um, chicken sandwich. <laughs> Ensuite, um, le couscous. Yes, this is kind of newer. It's, I mean, it's um, quinoa. It's bulgur so, wheat. The texture is different than quinoa. Mm. And that has just fresh herbs and pomegranate seeds. The, palm, the pomegranate seeds make, make it also a little bit more um, fun and It's a little sweetness. I think I like to add it's very a original. bit of sweetness to everything. Mm -hmm. Like the peppers are a little sweet because I like them make some sweet and savory. So. Mm. Hopefully it works together. I think that's what makes it a nice It is. It's definitely working together. <laughs> <laughs> 